Hi everyone. Today we're going to look at uh, 7.2 from your textbook, Solving Linear Systems Graphically. You're going to find it in page uh, 403 to 408 for your text, Manitoba Outcome R9. Alright, so in previous chapters we looked at solving uh, just graphing equations. Uh, so here we've got y equals x minus 1 and we have another equation x plus 2y equals 4. Both of these equations are going to be graphed on the same graph, on the same set of coordinates uh, and we're going to actually see where these two lines meet and that is going to be our solution. That's how we're actually going to solve it. We're just going to look to see where they cross. So the first one, y equals x minus 1, I'm going to graph it using the y-intercept, which is negative 1, right here, and the slope, which is 1, the coefficient in front of your x. So you've got a rise of 1, run of 1, rise of 1, run of 1. So you go up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1. And then all you're going to do is connect the two, connect all these dots together. Okay. Um, and draw little arrowheads, label your graph so that it looks nice and pretty and everyone knows what you're graphing. Okay, I'm going to graph my second equation and I'm going to do this using intercepts. Alright, so remember to find your x-intercept, you set y equal to 0, so I've got x equals, sorry, x plus, that should be a plus, two and then set your y to zero equals four and that gives me an x-intercept of x equals four. So that is right here. Okay, uh, then my y-intercept, I set my x equal to zero, so I've got zero equals, oh sorry, why do we keep doing that? I've got my x equaling zero, so I've got zero plus two y equals 4, solving for y, I get y equals 2. And that brings me right here. Okay, I want to connect these two dots together. Try to get a nice straight line out of here. Remember your arrowheads at the ends. And this is x plus 2, y equals 4. All right, so notice something magical happens right over here. The two lines meet, and that is your solution. Okay, that is your solution to this system. And we found it graphically, which means we just graph the two lines, and we notice, we read right off the graph that it intersects at 2, comma 1. Okay, so now let's have a look at the next question. And what I'd like you to do for this next question is I'd like you to try to graph these two equations yourself and see where you get a solution. So pause the video and get a piece of paper out and try this question. Okay, so now you're back and you have this question already worked out. And if you... Uh, notice this first equation here, it's probably easier to graph it using intercepts and that ended up being, you ended up getting an x-intercept at negative 5 and a y-intercept at negative 5. Okay. So Okay, so let's actually try, okay, perfect, it works now. Uh, so we've got our x and our y intercept at negative 5, and we're going to connect these two together with a nice straight line. Oh, almost made it there. And this is x plus y equals negative 5. All right, the next equation I'm going to graph is y equals 2x plus 4. And the easiest way to plot that one is to do it using your y-intercept and your slope method, and you'll end up 
with this line right here. Okay, remember, get a straight edge and try to graph this as accurately as you can. Okay, so we notice right here that we've got a lovely solution of negative 3 and negative 2. Okay. A good skill to have is to be able to verify that this actually is the correct solution. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the point negative 3, negative 2, and we're going to substitute it into each of these equations and make sure that we end up with a true statement at the end. So let's try that with the first one here. So I've got negative 3, and I'm going to substitute my negative 2 for the y. Okay, And in fact, this side does equal negative 5, and that equals the so I've got the left-hand side is negative 5, and the right-hand side is also negative 5. Okay, you have to remember to do this with both equations. All right, so I'm going to do that with y equals 2x plus 4 as well. All right, so negative 2 is my y, and we've got 2 times negative 3 plus 4. All right, so... Will it work out? Let's see. I've got negative 6 plus 4, and oh, wonderful, very exciting, and very satisfying and gratifying that it works out both sides. So left-hand side equals right-hand side again. All right, so here's our third and final example. Uh, what I want you to do again is pause it here and try graphing these two lines, which shouldn't have a problem graphing these two lines, but you might notice a bit of an issue when you're actually writing what the solution of these of the system is. Okay, so do that right now, pause it, and resume when you're done. Okay, so now you're back, and you've graphed the two lines, and you've gotten that we have the first line to look like this, 2x plus y equals 2 with your intercept right there and there. Okay, so let's connect those. So that isn't the straightest line, but it'll do. And you've got your other line, 3x minus 2y equals 6, ending up with an intercept right here at negative 3 and 2. Okay. So here we notice that the lines graph quite nicely, but you're going to notice a problem right in here. Okay, see it doesn't end up at any kind of nice little corner. And your solution to this one actually is somewhere, I'm just going to write approximately because it's not perfect. Uh, approximately it's around the one and a half for your x value and it's close to negative one but not quite there. Alright so the actual solution to this system ends up being 10 over 7 and negative 6 over 7 which you can see is not going to be very easy to graph so this is I guess the limitations of solving systems of equations graphically uh, and this is where it comes in handy learning to solve these systems of equations using substitution or elimination which we look at in the next couple of videos. So have a look at those and uh, do lots of questions folks. Thanks for watching.